In this video we're going to look at EB4. This is formerly known as Ubuntu, but now it's based on Debian. So we're going to install it and look at it and see what it has to offer. Please enjoy. We're going to go straight for the install. This seems to be using the same installer as Ubuntu at the moment. We'll look at the actual system once it's installed. Just going to partition our hard drives, I'll let it do the defaults. Right, because there's a bug in this version, we have to click Advanced, choose our hard drive. It's only because it's beta still. It probably won't be like that in the final. Well, I shouldn't think it would be like that in the final. They would have fixed it by then. And we'll let it install. One thing I've got to say to the EB team, the download mirror is very slow, and there's only that single mirror at the moment. You might want to add more. The torrent works fine, but some people just don't want to be using torrents. I don't know why, but I know people who just won't use torrents. So yeah, I suggest that you look at getting a faster mirror, but besides from that, the torrent does work. Anyway, we'll come back to this once it's finished installing. It's installed now, and this is the login screen. Now the fonts are really, really small. You might want to change that. They are really small, but we'll come back to that after I've updated the system and I've installed the virtual machine tools. So let's log in. I like the colour scheme. So let's just go straight for an update. The colour scheme and just the gen general artwork on this thing is brilliant. It looks really nice. We'll perform a safe upgrade. And we'll just let it update. 275 megs. So I'll let it do that. The reason it's going to be so many updates is because, as I said, it's not a final release. So we'll just let it update and come back to it in a minute. Right, it's all up to date now. Now the first thing is, these desktop icons really need sorting out. The text is tiny. You need to sort that out. The artwork as a whole looks good, but these tiny little fonts just don't work. Now the first thing you'll notice is that there's no bottom panel. There's a dock here instead which we can launch our programs from. Set the properties of it there, they're just normal launcher properties. And also because it's based on Debian SID, it's Firefox 3.6, the latest version at the moment. But yeah, we've got there's quite a few programs by default. As you can see there, it's got Thunderbird as well. It hasn't got the whole of OpenOffice. Banshee, that's quite a good media player, and VLC. Now, I think they should go for either one or the other. I'm not sure that having both of them there is is worth it, but I can see why, though, because of the library feature in Banshee and the video abilities of VLC. That's probably why they're both included there. Configuration editor. That's just gconf, where you can change stuff. Normal known preferences there. G parties. Um, let's just try this. Yeah, um, that really shouldn't be there because I've installed the system now.
then you've got the normal update manager and that. Control center, which is just the GNOME control center. It's quite handy having this shown by default though, because it, it does give you a central admin panel to an extent. But yeah, it is, it is shaping up to be a good distro. And I think, I think quite a lot of people will appreciate this one. Because the artwork's brilliant, the default package set isn't bad. It's just that font has got to be sorted. And the installer shouldn't be there after installation. But yeah, apart from that, it's quite a decent little distro. I'm not sure about this dock thing. It looks out of place. It might look better with comp compositing on, but if you don't, if you can't use compositing, this really does look a bit out of place. If you get what I mean, it, it's very. I don't know how to describe it. it. It just looks out of place on this distro. But yeah, that's really it for this distro, and um, it'll be really interesting to look at it when the final comes out. We will come back to it. But until then. If you like trying out different distros, I recommend you give this one a try, because it's quite good. You can obviously fix the icon size yourself, and do what you like with that dock. But yeah, the, the main thing is, is get rid of that after install, because it's not needed. Graphical login manager settings still. But yeah, apart from that, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.